So if you want to create an app, the only thing you have to uh, enter is the uh, name of the app. And then you push create, obviously, and you start seeing the uh, application. And as I was explaining, those are the uh, blocks, the Legos. So for example, what you can do here is just uh, you know, add a little bit of an image for the title. So you drag this up here, and then you would go ahead and uh, uh, grab the image. Uh, here my media folder is empty, so let me just uh, go ahead and go to this, uh, this little app here that I, uh, I built, so I have some uh, asset in the media folder. So let's do that again. Let's just uh, bring an image here. Put it here. And here I have some, uh, some image. So I just do this. Done. Done. And now I'm starting to see my app being built. Right? Uh, if I want to uh, add some sort of a background, you know, I can just do this. Also grab another image. And uh, I should be uh, now seeing the application with the uh, new background I just uh, uploaded. That's as simple as that. You know, if you want to uh, list uh, some of the New York Times title, for example, I plug the New York Times data source in there. Uh, so you can just uh, go ahead, uh, grab that list, for example, and just uh, put it here. Select your data feed and select the content. So, for example, the title. Let's go ahead and let's say this is going to be Ariel, uh, and this is going to be uh, bold and uh, black. And you could have a subheader, and let's put the first two lines of the article here. There you go. And uh, when you also put out an image, for example, we have an image in our feed, and now you've built already an application that essentially shows uh, the headlines of the, the New York Times. Right? You could easily add, if you wanted to, uh, some navigation. So here, for example, it would be uh, headlines, right? And here we could have, for example, a video. Let's just add uh, some uh, some images because it looks better. And uh, we have some default images here. That's why you have that. And uh, tell the system that in that view specifically, I want to show my navigation. And now you've built essentially the first view, the first page of your application. If you were to generate the app, you just go ahead and select which operating system you want it to. So I want Android and I want uh, iOS. And in a matter of uh, two, three minutes now, I'll have an app ready to install on my application, on my devices. Sorry. That's really the, the way it works. If you wanted to add, for example, some uh, some maps, right? You could just do that and grab the, the map, put it here. Uh, say, okay, the map is you know this size, and you can show GPS location. And uh, I would have uh, latitude and longitude, and I would have a map enabled uh, application. So that's really the way uh, the way the environment work. Uh, you know, here, for example, if you want to tap on the uh, list and have it move to a new view with the actual article, let's just do a copy view here. So we have now the two view, the article, and the first view. And I'm going to, I don't need a map anymore, uh, but I'm going to replace my list by, for example, something to display text. And say I'm going to put HTML, for example. Go and grab the content from your feed. This is the uh, title. I don't know HTML, so I'm just going to put this. And now I have that, that view that's going to list my article. The question is, how do I go from here to the article? Everything in each case is based on events and action. So what you have is a tap event, and you would say I'm going to switch to another view. I'm going to go from the first to the article, put a transition. Let's say I'm putting a push from right. And now you have an application that lists the headlines of the New York Times, and when you tap on one of those headlines, it's going to push from right and show uh, the article view uh, that we just uh, that we just built. What's your business model? So we license the software to our clients. So for example, NBC has teams of uh, a web producer working on each case, building their applications. Uh, same for our other clients. We also engage with our client by doing some uh, development for them when they don't have the time to do it or the resources to do it. So it's a combination of service and software license. And if I make an app? If you make an app, uh, well, that's your app and you can publish it. And that's what we do for our clients. They publish the app under their own name. Uh, now, this is an enterprise solution. Uh, what we are launching uh, very soon is the uh, Escape Store, which is going to be a, a 
a self-service uh, solution where you're going to build those uh, blocks. Uh, so for example, let's say here you want uh, a list uh, of, of text, you're going to be able to select uh, this block and you're going to pay a specific price for that block. This is what you can do with it, right? Different, uh, different colors, different ways to do that. And if you select it, you'll be able to use it uh, in your application. And that's going to be a simpler, a more self-service version than the enterprise version I enjoy showing you here. You're located in New York. You're located in New York. And now if I go to my build history, uh, as you can see, my two applications have been built. And here, in fact, I can actually run the Android one on a simulator. This is running the simulator remotely. So you can see the application uh, running on your screen. And this is the application we just, uh, we just built. Not necessarily the best looking one, but definitely quick, pretty fast. And you know, if I uh, work with a designer, obviously, I'm going to have something quite nice. Superb.